there guys, it's Pip here from pipweekly.com. So today I want to talk to you about your life being in balance. Now of course, why do I want to talk to you about this? Well, your life being in balance means that you feel more happy, you feel fulfilled, you feel like things are in flow, um, and I'm sure you've all experienced it. Do you know that moment, for example, when you're having a really, really good time with your friends, maybe you're out at the bar, maybe you're around somebody else's house, and you're just sat there and the conversation is flowing, you're really, really connecting with people, and you kind of have that magical experience where things are just effortless. So, what are the benefits of your life being in balance? Well, as I say, you do feel a great deal better about yourself. Um, now, I just wanted to ask you before we begin, do you remember a time when you felt the opposite of being in balance? Maybe a time when you were very, very stressed. Maybe a time when you felt that you didn't have a lot of inner strength. Maybe a time that you had to deal with something and you just thought, I can't cope with this. Maybe a time when you just felt completely lost. And if you contrast those two kind of feelings, a feeling of elation compared to almost a feeling of despair, if you like, often the difference is balance. And the reason that our balance um, is, you know, can fluctuate so much is because we are, we are all different people. Um, you know, do you remember at school, you know, you were put into a class with say 29 or 30 or so other students and they're all, they're all so different. So something that, for example, one person would find very easy, say in maths, another person would find very, very difficult. Um, and so that just goes to show really from a very, very basic point of view that we are all different and our personalities play a huge part in that, the way that we grow up plays a huge part in that. Um, our perceptions about ourselves and what we come to believe about ourselves often um, that I believe is taught in childhood and, and can be changed as you go through you know, your teenage years, becoming a young adult. Um, and, but it's not just about being in balance in terms of say your social life, being with your friends, seeing them enough to make you happy. It's also things about uh, your finance, um, you know, your spirituality, which a lot of people think has to do with religion, but it doesn't. You know, your physical, um, not necessarily appearance, but your physical fitness. Um, you know, I'm sure you've all experienced a time when maybe you didn't do a lot of exercise and you didn't feel that great about yourself. Maybe eating junk food as well, and you just thought, you know, you don't feel great, and then you start to stop out on the sofa because you feel you haven't got the energy. Off the cycle goes. So uh, it's it's really difficult and striking this balance isn't easy because as I say we're all different. So for me for example, um, my balance at the moment is working quite well. So my work life balance. I work four days a week and then I have three days off uh, in which to shoot videos like this, share uh, my thoughts, share my insights from my life with you guys so you don't have to go through the struggle. Um, and that works out really well for me. For other people, that wouldn't be enough. Uh, for some people, that would be too much, um, depending on your individual circumstances. I do want to ask you right now, do you know what the right balance is for you? Now, a lot of people think that the best way to relieve stress is to um, you know, lie on the beach and uh, not do very much. Um, but the truth is, ironically, for some people that would actually be super stressful. It would actually create stress because they would feel like, you know, they're, they're guests from go people. They need to to be doing things. I'm sure you've all heard of the different personality types. You know, red, very fiery; yellow, um, kind of, you know, very very happy, bubbly, family orientated. Um, you know, and then you've got green and blue, so, so what is your vision really? They see a long way into the future. The other one is very analytical, likes to have all the detail. So again, um, what you think would release stress uh, and create balance doesn't necessarily do that. I just want to um, highlight a point to you here, and that is to say, how many of you, uh, maybe you yourself have done this, have had a stressful period at work, gone on holiday, right? Enjoyed yourself on holiday, just got to the point where you've just you've started to feel really good again, you're feeling fresh, batteries recharged, you come back and then you're back at the same old workplace. How many of you done that? Easily done, isn't it? And you see people do it all over the world. Um 
I remember recently watching a, a video um, by um, a team who, who actually have the same sort of business that I do, they're in the same company. Um, they were in, in corporate Britain, their names are Greg and Fiona Scott. Um, so they go on a lot of holidays now, they really enjoy themselves, they travel all over the world. Um, they're a really supportive couple, really support each other. Um, really support the community as well as the business that I'm in with. Um, but I remember watching an interview once and at one point Fiona Scott was talking about um, her corporate life in London and you know she she was obviously um, I mean she she did she did figures um, and she was very successful at it you know she obviously had a, a very high flying well paid job um, but she was talking about the kind of the pressure and the stress and you could you could see it when she talked, you could, she was literally getting upset as she talked um, because she didn't have this balance in her life. Although she had what we think would make us happy, i.e. you know you look at these magazines and you go oh uh, celebrity is doing this and people in Big Brother are doing that and that person's got a new car and that football player's bought a new mansion and, and we think of all these things that we think are going to make us happy but let me tell you this Judging by Fiona's reaction then I could tell on her face that she was not happy in that environment. She didn't have balance in her life. Yes, she had a lot of money, but things were out of kilter. The money had not bought her the lifestyle that she thought it would. And so many people go into this idea that the more that you earn, the happier you will be. Let me tell you this, it's not necessarily the case. Um, when I listen to, for example, um, the guy who did this book, Motivation Manifesto, this is by a guy called uh, Brendan Bouchard. He is a motivational speaker. Uh, he is a number one New York Times bestseller. Uh, he's done more books than this. Um, this is a wonderful book. Get this by the way. It comes with a, a free course. Um, very, very interesting book. Mine's a little bit battered. I tend to put it in my bag. Um, but he and, and actually quite a lot of others, even, you know, uh, Ty Lopez, maybe you've come across him, Les Brown, um, you know, and all these, um, you know, authority figures, um, they say that people that they meet look at them and go, oh, I want to be like you, I want to earn a lot of money. But the truth is about money, it's not actually the money that motivates you, and a lot of people go, what? What do you mean it's not the money that motivates you? Of course it is, of course I want a lot of money. No. The truth is, it's what you do with that money. It's what you do with that money. See, a lot of people think they want more money, but actually what they want is more time. They want more time freedom. They want more time to just go out and chill. They want more time with their friends. They want more time with their family. Well, it's more time just to relax and kick back without having to worry where the money is coming from, right? So. And the difference is, you, you might be thinking, hang on a second, you've lost me here, what's the difference? Well, so think now, you've got two choices. I, I came to you and I'm, I'm like a magic genie, right? And I can offer you a wish. So you can have wish number one, and that is, you can have a million quid in the bank, right? But to do that, you've got to promise me that you're going to work for 40 years, five days a week, You've got to work nine hour shifts, okay? Every every week for 40 years, okay? And it's going to be a very, very uh, responsible role. Um, you're going to be CEO of a company, right? Um, uh, and you'll get a million quid. A lot of people go, yeah, that sounds good. Okay? But you can have Wish B. And Wish B is, I'm not going to give you a million quid, right? But I'm going to say to you, you can have at least a half a day off every day. Half a day off every single day, okay? You've got to work the morning, or work the afternoon, but the rest of the day, that's yours. Four or five, five hours a day, right? Five days a week, 40 years, let's keep it the same. You won't have a million quid in the bank, but tell you what, you'll never have to worry about money again. You won't be super rich, but I tell you what, you won't. Be in one, you won't be worried. You'll have that time to do what it is that you want. 
which one would you rather have? A lot of people, you see, the funny thing is at this point, a lot of people go, well, I'd still like a million quid. You wouldn't want a million quid if you were snowed under, you're having splitting headaches, you're experiencing physical pains within your body, you're having a nervous breakdown, um, you know, what's the point of a million quid, <laughs> you know, apart from to buy yourself a super good doctor who can diagnose you and say, stop the work, stop now. Um, you know, it's, it's crazy and a, a lot of successful people do look like, you know, the money is a big part of it and it is, but you can't, the, see, the secret is you, you don't, you have to be successful before you make money, okay? When you're successful, you make the money, okay? A lot of people have this the wrong way around, they think, when you make money, you're successful. That isn't the case. You see, say, let's take, let's take a great example that we've all heard of, Walt Disney, right? The Walt Disney classics, Disney. So you've got your Bambi, Pinocchio, um, Dumbo, all that sort of stuff and many, many more. Walt Disney, let me tell you, everybody knows his name. If you said Walt Disney, you know, even in another country, people would probably go, oh yeah, you know, I've heard of him. Uh, would you consider him to be successful? Most people would say yeah, most people would. Walt Disney was financially bankrupt seven times, okay? Seven times. He had two major nervous breakdowns. Is that successful? Okay? So it's not just about the money. Um, so you've got to get everything in balance and I just really want to share with you um, a few of my bits of knowledge today just to, to let you know if you're heading down the path where you're going money, 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 money it's not all about the money. What do you really want? What do you um, what do you want to do with that money? What, what, if you could buy, say if you could buy time with money, right? What would you do with it? Where would you go? Who would you go with? You know, it's not you know you wouldn't. Yeah, okay. Like you know, you just see these people who you know had throw this money up in the air. Well, you know, you hear of people who win the lottery and they bump to lose all their friends, or you know they're not going to spend the next thirty years throwing money up in the air. Then we're going to want to do something with it, right? Because that, that's our lives, we want to expand who we are. And I'm not saying that money doesn't take worry away, it certainly does. Um, but it's it's about how you use the money, okay? And, and you can't sacrifice your soul for money, okay? Because actually, in, in my opinion, and actually in the opinion of many people who've been down that road and had major nervous breakdowns, they will tell you it wasn't worth it okay because you can't necessarily earn your health back okay you can't undo that experience of having a nervous mental breakdown you can't undo you know that that feeling of got to go to work again in the morning i think about for example uh, one of the co-founders that helped me in in setting up my business um, an amazing guy called stuart ross and he set up uh, and founded the company that is now helping me to create balance in my life um, because he was literally, he, he was in real estate, he was, um, you know, homes, um, doing lots of selling, doing very, very well, working very, very long hours. Uh, I think he said at the most it was about 11 hours a day. Um, and he said, quite honestly, he was having panic attacks, um, thinking about going into work the next day. You know, it, it wasn't good, um, even though the money was. So I just want to give you that as a take home, really. Um, and if you've ever thought about maybe you'd like more balance in your life, maybe you are work, a really hard work, and most of you are, I know. Um, but maybe you're just thinking, oh, I've, I've got the kids and I've got my job, or I mean, in my case, I don't have kids, but just having a job and looking after the house and, you know, just keeping up with people socially, it, it can be a lot of times, um, even those small few things. Um, and. If, if you ever, you know, would like some help on that, if you fancy meeting somebody like Stuart Ross, who, who helped me in it, and I'm pretty sure help you, um, you know, he's, as I say, he's helped people who've been in corporate London and who have uh, been on damn good figures, I'd just say, and they decide to quit and do something else, that goes to show it's not just about the money. So, you, you can always meet him at my website, it's just Pip weetsley.com that's p-i-p-w-h-e-a-t-l-e-y dot com and um, I do loads of blogs on there to share things like this with you so that you don't have to go through the difficulties you don't have to go through the pain 
can learn from what I've learned and um, things that I've seen other people go through and their experience and kind of bring that to you and say hey listen uh, before you go down that road just just consider this this and this or you know just just to save you from that struggle and that pain because I know I've been through things in my life where to be honest with you um, I didn't know how to convey what I was feeling I, I couldn't quite actually put my finger on what I was feeling but I knew I wasn't feeling great and um, things from the outside looked fine but I, I it just wasn't right and it, I wasn't in balance so you can meet Stuart on there and um, obviously you can meet um, the other co-founder Jay as well uh, they will explain to you um, what they're doing and, and you know we've got a few videos on there that um, if you do want to find out more just pop in your email we'll send um, a couple of videos to your inbox so you can watch them as and when you want bit them around your lifestyle because I know you've got things on the go right now as well and um, you know I'm pretty sure that they could help you but it's really up to you I can't say for definite it's going to be the right thing but it do at least give yourself the chance of getting yourself the education and um, and that freedom of choice really so that's all from me I hope you found that useful and until next time you take care bye now